Let's check out how to make the speed effect here in Illustrator. Now, before diving into the effect, we're gonna need to set up the font. So in my case, I'm gonna go with Mango Grotesque Bold. Now make sure to choose a font where the inside holes are pretty large. So for example, the letter D inside is pretty wide and the letter P as well. All right, so next thing to make it look more speedy looking, we're gonna try to select an italic version. So we got the bold and check it out, we got the bold italic. And also for this effect, we're gonna need some more spacing in between the letters. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna increase the kerning. I'm gonna go with 50. Right click on the text and select create outlines. Now let's unselect the text and let's go here and swap it from fill to stroke. Make sure that you don't have anything on the fill. Click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke. So it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna go with the black color, select the line tool. And I'm gonna create a line somewhere here, drag it, press and hold shift and position it somewhere above the text. I'm gonna increase the stroke thickness. And here you can determine how thick to be the stroke. Press and hold Alt, drag it down. Also press and hold Shift and make sure to not leave any distance in between the lines. So I'm gonna go and just bring it really close. There you go. And from here, press Control D a lot of times until you're gonna get a lot of lines. Let's select all of it, right click Group. And I'm gonna select it with the text and align it horizontally and vertically. Now I'm gonna go and press Control Y, so this way I can see all the lines. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt and just move them in the right direction. And I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more, maybe in. And I'm gonna try this version where the line is crossing right the top of the letter here. Now of course it's gonna cross even more on the letter S because it's taller. But now I'm gonna press Control Y again. And I'm gonna select everything, the lines and the text. Press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool. And now all you need to do is press and hold Alt and draw that line. So this is going to eliminate the specific paths that we are drawing on. And I'm gonna repeat the same process with the rest. So it should look like something like this. Now I'm gonna select it and let's go to the stroke. And down here you can see the stroke profile and I'm gonna switch it to this one. And as you can see, it did the job quite successfully from the get-go. Now, for example, not in all the situation, all these lines are going to align correctly. So you also can switch one of these sharp lines. So you can go here to the width profile and click on this one. And as you can see, it is going to switch it in the other direction. But for me, it's good. Now, of course, you can clean up these zigzags, by the way. So I'm going to select it, go to Object, Expand Appearance. And first, I'm going to go ahead and unite everything. So I'm going to go to the Pathfinder, click on Unite. And I can select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select the stop anchor point here. Press and hold shift. I'm going to go all the way down and also select this bottom one. Now let's go to the anchors and click on cut path at selected anchor points. And I'm going to right click on it on group. And I'm going to remove this part. Delete. And we're going to need to join the anchor points back. And let's click on join. Now here at the letter S, you're going to have a little bit more difficult time. So I'm going to go and place another letter S on it and press and hold shift, select also these lines, go to the pathfinder and select the divide. Let's select the letter S again, right click on group and I'm going to select the letter S, delete. So we're going to have a lot of invisible shapes as well, but I'm going to delete these ones, these edges first. So this is going to be a little bit more manual. After you clean it up, you also got some white edges right here. But check this out, if I select it, there's basically an invisible shape. And I'm gonna select these and select the eyedropper tool here. And let's click on the black and it's gonna fill up these invisible parts, which is great. I'm gonna repeat the same step here, select eyedropper tool and so on and so forth. So pretty much this is it, have fun with it and see you on the next one.